The Night King is shown leading his army of whites and white walkers south, departing the lands of always winter and heading towards the wall at last. Sansa Stark and Jon Snow later discuss who the more dangerous enemy is, Cersei Lannister or the Night King, as well as the fact that the wall still separates humanity from the white walkers. Meanwhile, despite her obsession with defeating Cersei Lannister, who sits the Iron Throne, Daenerys Targaryen, a royal exile who has begun her war for Westeros, is told by Jon Snow, who has traveled to Dragonstone, that she will only be ruling a graveyard if the Night King attacks, as he is the true enemy. Jon takes Daenerys down into the caves on Dragonstone after she agrees to allow he and his people to mine the dragon glass beneath Dragonstone. However, Jon has something much more important in mind, showing her the ancient carvings by the Children of the Forest on the rocks, which depict the Children of the Forest and the First Men fighting the White Walkers together. One of these carvings strongly resembles the Night King leading the White Walkers. When Bran Stark wags into a flock of ravens, he flies them beyond the wall to spy on the army of the dead. He finds the Night King himself leading them, flanked by some of his lieutenants. When the Night King looks up, the ravens disperse, and Bran is pulled out of the warging. He urges Maester Walken to send ravens across Westeros informing the High Lords that the Night King is on the move to Eastwatch by the sea. The Night King is present when the Whites battle Jon Snow at the White Hunt, who traveled beyond the wall with a band of warriors to attempt to capture a White to use as proof for the gathered High Lords of Westeros. Remembering their encounter from Hardhome, the Night King keeps his gaze on Jon for some time. Beric Dondarrion suggests trying to kill the Night King. As they know, killing a White Walker kills any and all Whites it raised, so killing the Night King might destroy every such monster under his command, putting an end to the Great War before it truly begins. Jon dismisses the plan, however, arguing that trying to fight their way through the Whites to reach the Night King would be suicide. When Daenerys Targaryen and her dragons come and attempt to rescue Jon and his group, the Night King hurls an ice spear toward Viserion, piercing the young dragon straight through the neck. Trailing blood and fire, Viserion crashes down to the frozen lake, sinking beneath the icy waters. The king keeps his gaze on the enraged Jon, who appears on the verge of calling him down to fight directly, but his lieutenant hands him another spear. The Night King throws it at Drogon, but the dragon takes flight and dodges in time. The Night King later has his whites haul Viserion's corpse out of the water. Once that is accomplished, the Night King kneels in front of the dragon snout, placing a hand upon him. Moments later, Viserion is reanimated as his eyes open, now a depthless, icy blue. The mounted white walkers lead the gathered army of the dead out of the haunted forest to the wall, gathering in force at Eastwatch by the sea. Riding the reanimated Viserion and using his fiery breath, the Night King breaches the wall burning it until the easternmost portion of the icy fortification collapses, destroying the castle and allowing the White Walkers and their White Army to invade Westeros once more while the Night King flies overhead toward the north. 